So, inshallah, we're going to start out. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are going to do ayat number 12 and 13 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Inshallah, we'll start with the first ayah. We are going to do ayat number 12 and 13 of Surah Al-Baqarah today. Um, these two ayats are related to the previous ayah. And to maintain the continuity, in the previous ayat, uh, the, the ayats are about the munafiqin, the hypocrites. And in the previous ayat, when we learned, there was a portion of the ayat which said that, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ When it is said to the hypocrites, do not spread corruption. So they reply, Alu innama nahnu muslihun. We are the ones who are reforming the society instead of. So this was their answer. So because obviously they are lying, their purpose was hypocrisy. And when they were questioned about not spreading the corruption, they lied again. And they said, no, no, we are not spreading the corruption. We are not spreading the facade. Instead, we are reforming this system, the society, the people, all those things. So this was their answer. In this ayat, number 12, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is answering hypocrites. Whatever they lied before, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making a comment on their statement. So we'll look into that and then we'll look for one more ayat after that. So the ayat starts out with Allah in the shaitan regime. Bismillah ar-Rahman. Allah in Nahum. Allah in Nahum, the word Allah is used to warn something. So one of the meaning is beware or listen carefully. Allah means pay attention. In Nahum, indeed these people. In Nahum means indeed those people who are the hypocrites. Humul Mufseduna, they are the ones who are spreading the corruption. So this is the reply from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah knows that they actually are spreading the corruption. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala ki la yash <coughs> But they do not understand. They think that they are very sincere in doing what they are doing, but in fact they are spreading the corruption and they don't have shaur, they don't have understanding of what they are doing. So this is the response from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is quoting one more thing that there was a conversation according to the ayat number 13. These are the same words that came last time. When it is said to them, when someone says to the hypocrites or munafiqi, Aminu, believe. Aminu is a command, is a request, is a suggestion to these hypocrites. Believe. Kama aman al nasu. The same way as other people have believed. Because this is the time when Prophet ﷺ is conveying the message of the Quran. And a lot of people are believing in that message. So someone is saying to the munafiqin, to the hypocrites, that you should believe the same way other people, sincere people are believing. Kama amanan naso, other people are believing. So these hypocrites again reply some. What do they say this time? They say, Kalu, they reply, they say, Anu minu, should we believe or shall we believe? They are putting a question. Are we going to believe or should we believe? Kama, same Amanas sofaha, same as the foolish people have believed. So they are calling the people who have sincerely believed as fools. The people who have sincerely believed in the message of the Quran and the Prophet ﷺ, hypocrites are calling them fools. Sofaha means fool people, foolish people. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again answers them. So here, the statement after this is again from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And Allah's answer is that, Allah in Nahum, beware of the fact. Know that, realize that, Humus Sofaha, these are the foolish people. The hypocrites are the fools. They are calling other people fools. 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that in fact, the reality is that, that these are the foolish people. They themselves, they themselves are fools. Okay? Wala killa yalamun, but they don't know about okay? They have become so blind that they do not know that they are the ones who are fools. Instead of, they are calling the true believers as the fools. So this is the end of this ayat and the many more ayats continue after that. So inshallah we will look at it. But let's go into this details of these ayats. So the first one is, first one is Allah. Okay. So if you notice here, the word la comes many times. La means not. La means not. When we put this alif with the hamza in front of a statement, it creates the question mark. So this is a question mark. So in English you can say, is it not? When you are putting a question in front of not, not la means not, but you are put, putting a question, you can say, is it not? Is it not? So it's a kind of a surprising statement. Okay? Is it not? And this word, this whole word is also translated as beware. Khabardar. Okay? Beware. Okay? Now, so the meaning of this is beware. Or is it not? You can translate both ways. Like a question is being asked in a surprising way. Okay. Also, the next word is made of these parts, inna and whom. Okay. The word inna means indeed or surely. Surely or indeed. And whom means they. <clears throat> now they is pointing to the hypocrites. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the munafiqeen or hypocrites. And they is pointing because in the previous ayahs we, are, we have been talking about the hypocrites. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pointing to hypocrites by saying they. Those people who made such a statement. Okay. So, Allah in Nahum, is it not that they, okay, also, when <coughs> there is an Aleph and a Hamza, or actually there is Hamza here, if before Hamza there is an Aleph, then, which is the, this Aleph of the La, then this should be pronounced long. <coughs> That's the rule of Tajweed. So, this, the sound of this will be Allah instead of this Allah. If this Hamza was not there, then you would just say La, simple La. But because of the Hamza, you have to stretch this La, okay? But that's a Tajri. So the word is Allah inna hum. Beware, or is it not that they, indeed they. So inna hum means indeed they. Now, if you notice that, again there is a word whom. Okay? That means whom is coming twice. Okay? So, we will see how we translate this second time. Okay? But let's look at the next word. Okay? Next word starts with these three letters, fa, seen, and da. Okay? And this means to corrupt something. Fasad. Fasada means to corrupt. And we saw that if we put a meme in the beginning of these three letters and pronounce as mufu sidun. Okay. If we just sound like a, a dhamma or meme and sukun and kasra and dal has two dhamma, which is a tanwin. Mufsidun. 
Okay? Mufsidun means a person who spreads corruption or who spreads facade, okay? who tries to corrupt the society, the system. So Mufsidun is the one who spreads corruption. One person or he who spreads corruption. Mufsidun is the one person who spreads corruption. Its plural is Mufsiduna. If you put a vow and noon at the end, Muf Siduna. This is the plural. Means many people or those who spread corruption. <coughs> so that is the meaning of Mufsiduna. Okay? Also, when we put Al before that, Al means Da. <coughs> so the word becomes Al Mufsiduna. Means now we are pointing to some people, the special people, the proper noun. Okay? So now these are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those people who made the statement that they were muslihun and they were, those are the hypocrites. So al-mufsiduna are those group or those people who are being hypocrites or who are creating the corruption. So that is the word al-mufsiduna. Okay? Those who spread corruption. Okay? So if I put down that word after that, Al Mufsiduna. Okay. The word is Alif with the Hamza Al Mufsiduna. Okay. So now the word is Allah in Nahum. Is it not? Or should beware. Indeed, they are those people. Then we will translate the second one as themselves. They themselves. Okay. are the ones who are spreading corruption. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that, listen carefully, beware. They indeed are themselves the ones who are spreading corruption. They are saying that we are muslihun, we are the ones who are reforming, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is replying that, no, is it not that they actually are the ones who themselves are spreading the corruption, or they are mufsidun, they are doing the facade in the land. Okay? So that is the meaning. Now also, when you combine these two words in the recitation, this is a hum, and this is al mufsiduna. So you do not pronounce this alif in the middle. And you pronounce who mul mufsiduna. You combine meem. Before that, alif was combining with the lam. When you are reading with the hum, then you combine meem with the lam, and you pronounce who mul. Don't pronounce this alif. And when you do not pronounce the alif, then this sign goes away, and we put a little swat there called hamzatul wasal. Miss, do not pronounce Alif. So the pronunciation will be Humul Mufsiduna. Humul Mufsiduna. Okay? And that's what is the word in the Quran. Okay? It is those who themselves are the ones who are spreading the corruption. So this will be themselves those who 
to spread corruption. So that is the meaning so far. Allah subhanahu wa this is the statement from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly saying that is it not or beware or listen carefully. They are indeed the ones who themselves are those who spread the corruption, who make the things go wrong. Okay. They are the ones who are creating the problems among the Muslims. They are hypocrites, they are munafiqeen. So that is the statement from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning couple, three more words here about their situation by saying, Wala killa yash orun. So let's look at those words. So the first word is, Wala kin. Wa la kin. Walakin means but. The whole word in Arabic means but. There is a word in, in, in Urdu, lakin, probably in Farsi is lakin also. Means but. Okay? But in Arabic, the word is walakin. Walakin means but. Instead of. Okay? Walakin. And then the next word is la. La means not. Okay. But not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying about the condition of these hypocrites. Okay. Also, when you read these two words together, then you do not pronounce the full sound of noon, but make it a like wala killa. Okay. So that's the reason there is a shadda here on lam. Only for the reason that you do not pronounce the noon completely, but you pronounce wala killa. Okay. Then the word is yash orun. Yash orun starts with these three letters, sheen, ayn, and ra. Okay. The meaning of this is to understand or to have understanding. To have understanding. Shaur is the word which is commonly used in many languages. Shaur means consciousness, understanding. Okay. This, this is that, that word is from the same three letters. Sheen, Ayn, and Ra. Okay. Also we know that if we have these three letters, Fa, Ayn, and Lam, which means to do, and if we put a ya in the beginning and a buna at the end, this, this makes and leave the three words, three letters in the middle, pa and a lam. This brings the grammar of third person plural, they. And present tense. So present tense will be they do. Fa'ala to do, yaf aluna, they do. Okay. So in the grammar, by putting a ya in the beginning and wuna, wa and nun at the end, and keeping the three letters in the middle, brings the information about present tense and plural of third person, they. So if we apply that rule here, this will become yash oruna. You put a ya in the beginning here and una at the end. Same way as we did there. And keep the three letters in the middle. This will be the word that is in the Quran, yash oruna. Yash oruna means they understand. <coughs> <laughs> Shara means to have understanding and yes, 
होगा मीन्स दे हैव अंडरस्टैंडिंग और दे अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है बट बिकॉज द वर्ड ला इज देयर मीनिंग विल बी दे डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दे हैव नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दे आर कॉलिंग देम सेल्व दिपोक्रेट्स इन मुनाफिन आर कॉलिंग देम सेल्व Muslim, those who are reforming the society, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying that no, they are not reforming the society. They are mufsiduna. They are the ones who creating the corruption in the society. Just the opposite what they are saying. So they don't have understanding. If Allah is saying that this is right and this is wrong, and they are saying just the opposite of that. And not only Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but it is an observation that everything they are doing is wrong, and they still think that they are the right people. Then it must be that they don't have any brain, they don't have any akal, they don't have any shaur, they don't have any understanding. So this is the statement from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that Allah is saying, not the people are saying that you are right or you are wrong. But here, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Himself is declaring about these people, about the Munafiqin, that they have no understanding, they have no akal, they don't have any shaur, they don't have any consciousness. Consciousness, they cannot differentiate between right and wrong because of what they are doing. So the meaning will be, but they do not understand. So this is the ayat. Is straight the, the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, the whole ayat are this words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, declaring the state of the manafiqin.